Are you sure I can't interest you in a little more wine, honey? Thanks, Paige. I know. How about an after-dinner drink? A little brandy? I'm fine, really. Share it with your wife. I just keep thinking there's something more I could do for Dad. My darling. I thought we weren't going to talk about him anymore. You know, I wish you could have known him before. He was one fine human being. And every time I think what he must have gone through Dennis, to make him change Dennis, like that. darling, don't do this to yourself, sweetheart. But the things he did for other people. You don't know, Paige. I guess that's why he wanted to be a journalist. He wanted to matter. He wanted to make a difference in the world. Make it a better place for everyone. Darling, you make him sound like a god. To me, he was. I wish... What do you wish, darling? If I had a wish, I'd wish that I could be like him. You don't mean that, Dennis. Oh, yes, that's exactly what I mean. Paige, I want to matter, too. I want to do something meaningful in my life. Just once, I'd like to know that what I did made a difference in other people's lives. Then, darling, accept Alex's offer to go to work for World Oil. That's not what I mean. Why not? He's a powerful man, Dennis. How could you affect more people's lives than he does? You could be that man, too, if you wanted to. That's not what I want, Paige. Don't you understand? Dennis. Alex is okay. I'm not putting him down, but he's not Dad. Dad had something special. Dennis, there's something you should know. Something that is very important. If that is Billy Joe again, I am going to fire him right you and I had better walk. Hi, Doc. Hi, Mom. Paige didn't know it was you. Oh, obviously. Hi, Iris. Is uh, Alex out and around already? No. I came by myself. Oh. I'd like to speak to my son, if I may. Well, of course. Alone. Oh, Mr. Wheeler, is that basketball game over already? That's halftime. Who's winning? We're... What's the score? I just, I love basketball. Do they still play that in that um, Astrodome? I certainly would like to go there myself some night. Because I have seen football Vivian, in there. where is Mrs. Wheeler? She's out. She went out. Would you like some ice cream? Where'd you go at this late hour? Mrs. Cook's. Mrs. Cook's. Well, I can't remember a married name. I mean, people around here keep changing their names so often, it confuses me. Well, you know, the, the Deckers live out at the Marshall Ranch. Uh, you know, I, well, she can't just run out there in the middle of the night. Well, it's not that late. Why didn't you ask me to drive her? Because she didn't want to tear you away from your basketball game. I offered to go with her, but she would have none of it. Well, did Rena call something wrong out there? What? No, sir, everything's just fine, I think. Would you care for something to imbibe? I want to know why she wanted to see Rena. It's a secret. And Mrs. Wheeler has asked me not to tell you. Vivian, my wife and I do not keep secrets from each other. Well, sometimes it's just necessary to do that, Mr. Wheeler. After all, you called and arranged for me to come down to Houston and you didn't tell Mrs. Wheeler. Of course not. I wanted to surprise her. Well, maybe she's cooking up a surprise for you. Oh, 
Yeah, my birthday's next month. Well, I don't think there's anything more I can say on the subject, Mr. Wheeler. I understand, Vivian. I apologize for giving you the third degree. I just, uh, I'm not used to Iris disappearing mysteriously, that's all. She's likely to do that from time to time. She's full of surprises, you know. Yeah, I guess I'll just have to learn to get used to that, won't I? <laughs> Oh, well. Oh, boy. I hope I'm as lucky next time. I'll be out at the bar, Dennis. Thank you. Don't you think that's a bit rude? No, I don't. Well, is what you have to say so important that it can't wait till tomorrow? It's very important, Dennis. And I am not certain you realize just how important it is. Maybe not, but I'm sure you'll tell me. What's up? A call from Stryker Bellman is what's up. Oh. Is that all you have to say? Oh? Well, what would you like me to say? I don't feel it's such a strange request. In light of what's happened, I do. What's happened? <laughs> as far as I can see, your precious Alex hasn't been killed, so what's happened? Dennis, you know exactly. Dad needs help, Mom. He needs support. He doesn't need to be cut off from the rest of the world right now. Elliot will get help. The very best kind. Professional help. But he shouldn't be allowed to mingle with the outside world after what he's done. I don't believe you're saying that. It's true. You act as if we're in the dark ages, Mom. They don't throw people into prison anymore and throw the key out. Well, then perhaps it would be better if they did. Can you really cut Dad out like that? Don't you see there's no chance he's going to come out of this thing if everybody abandons him? Quite frankly, Dennis, I don't really care whether he comes out of it or not. No. You don't really mean that. It's not just Alex. Look what he did to that poor Barrett Marshall. He had that man half believing he was the one who betrayed those men in that prison camp. Have you even tried to see Dad's side of the story? Well, what side could there be? It seems quite simple to me. Elliot was a traitor. How can you know that if you haven't talked to him? Well, you expect me to listen to the ravings of a madman? He's not a madman! Elliot tried to destroy the only real happiness I have ever had in this world. Now, I will never forgive him for that. Oh, come on, Mom. This is Dennis talking, your son, remember? I love Alex more than you will ever know. No more than you love Brian Bancroft, or Elliot, for that matter. You know, you have a wonderfully selective memory, but you forget I was there. I don't care to be contradicted where my feelings are concerned. No, you can't stand to have somebody stand up and tell you you're wrong. That's your problem. I won't stay here and be talked to like this. All right, Mom, if that's really the way you feel about things, then I just assume you leave. <laughs>